Um, let's talk about how planets move. Okay, All planets both rotate and revolve. What the heck do those words mean? Okay, Rotating is spinning like a top. Okay, Rotation causes our day and night. All the planets rotate at different speeds. Okay, You see this arrow right here? You see how the arrow is rotating as this planet goes around the sun? That means because the planet is rotating, it's spinning. Okay, these pictures also show rotation. You see the little arrows show how the planets rotate on their imaginary axis. Okay, so while these planets are orbiting around the sun, they are also rotating. Okay, the other movement that this planet is doing and all planets are doing is they are revolving. Revolving is a fancy word for orbiting. They are going around the sun. Okay, the inner planets revolve around the sun faster than the outer planets because the distance they have to travel in their orbits gets larger the further out you travel from the sun. Okay, so, and you also notice that this orbit or this um, revolution right here is not not exactly a circle. It's because all of the planets, even though it's close to a circle, are going around the sun in, in an oval shaped orbit that's called an elliptical orbit. Okay, so our planet orbits or revolves around the sun in one year, 365 days. The further out you go, like Mars is the next planet out from Earth, its orbit or its re revolution takes over 600 days because it's further away from the sun. In Jupiter and Saturn, they all take longer to go around the sun because they're further away. And that's a revolution. <clears throat> all right. All right, let's talk about poor Pluto. It used to be the ninth planet. And Pluto does not meet part of the definition of what a planet is now. A planet is a celestial object that meets all three of these criteria. Number one, it orbits around the sun. Well, Pluto does that. <clears throat> Number two, it has a nearly spherical shape. It's shaped like a ball. It's, Pluto is like that because we've now visited Pluto with a robotic spacecraft last year. So we know that it is spherical in shape. And number three, though, it has a clearly it has cleared the neighborhood around it of smaller objects. Okay, that means the gravity of the planet has either sucked in all of the smaller asteroids and things around it, or it has pushed them out of the way. Pluto has not done that. It does not meet this number three criteria. There are still things in Pluto's orbit. Um, that it has not cleared out, so now we consider it to be a dwarf planet. All right, next we're talking about moons. Moons are planets, I mean, sorry, planets are orbited by moons. Most of the planets. Mercury and Venus do not have moons, but all the other planets do, including Pluto. Um, they are smaller than planets and are held in place by the gravitational pull of the planet that they orbit. Okay, so... <clears throat> A moon orbits around a planet, while the planet orbits around the sun. Jupiter has some of the largest moons. Um, the four largest moons of Jupiter are these right here. <clears throat> they're called the Galilean moons, and they're named Ganymede, Io, Callisto, and Europa. These moons are very important for, for many reasons. One, because their discovery, their discovery by Galileo, that's why they're called Galilean moons. Galileo discovered them with his telescope. Because of their discovery, we changed our belief from the geocentric model of the solar system to the heliocentric model. Okay, so that was very important. Another reason is because their physical properties are similar to Earth. They're, they're made up of layers of rock. They're terrestrial. And another very interesting fact, um, this one, Europa, is covered by a frozen ocean so it's covered by ice made of water and because of this there are many people who think if there could be life on another celestial body in our solar system it could possibly be on on Europa we don't know because we've never sent a spacecraft there okay um, Io this moon is has active volcanoes on it so it's it's you know and the interior of Io may be similar to that of Earth. All right. 
another celestial body in our solar system are asteroids. Okay, they're rocky objects. They orbit the sun. However, asteroids are too small to be called planets or even dwarf planets or even moons. They're big chunks of rock that are orbiting around. And I mean big like, you know, the size of, of large islands on Earth. So they're, they're pretty big, but they're not as big as a, as a moon. Most asteroids are located in the asteroid belt. It's a wide area between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Okay, in this picture, um, you have Mercury, Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and then the asteroid belt, and then there's the orbit of Jupiter. So most of the asteroids are here in the asteroid belt. Um, the asteroid belt separates the inner planets from the outer planets. Asteroids occasionally crash into Earth, other solar system objects, even Earth. That's what causes craters on the moons and other planets. Craters are where asteroids or other objects hit another a body. You see these little marks on these uh, asteroids here have even been hit by other smaller asteroids, and those are craters. Okay, asteroids. 